Today we celebrate the birthday of the United States of America as an independent nation. On July 2nd, 1776, the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia voted in favor of independence from Great Britain. For two days, the assembled representatives debated the final text of a document that laid out the arguments for the divorce. Finally, on July 4th, after 86 mostly innocuous revisions had been made to the draft, Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence. 56 of the 58 delegates representing the 13 former colonies of Britain would sign the final document, beginning with John Hancock on August 2nd. Four South Carolinians would lend their signature to the document on behalf of the Palmetto State, including the youngest signer of the Declaration. So who were these signers? Arthur Middleton was chosen to replace his conservative father in the Continental Congress in 1776, but failed to attend most of the sessions. He was captured by the British after the fall of Charleston in 1781 and was held captive for over a year in St. Augustine, Florida. During the time of his incarceration, the British destroyed most of his property. After his release in 1780, Middleton returned to politics and served in the Virginia State Legislature. He was also a trustee of the College of Charleston. Edward Rutledge was the youngest of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. He was elected to the Continental Congress in 1774 to 76 and again in 1779. He served as a captain in the Charleston Battalion of Artillery. He was a state legislator, an elector in several presidential elections, and he was even governor of the state of South Carolina in 1798. During the Revolutionary War, Rutledge was a militia captain involved in the campaigns at Port Royal Island and Charleston, South Carolina. He was captured by the British in 1780 and held as a prisoner of war until 1781. Thomas Lynch Jr was an aristocratic planter who was the youngest signer of the Declaration of Independence to die at the age of 30. He was a lawyer and a graduate of Cambridge University in England, and he was elected to the Second Continental Congress to carry out the duties of his ill father. Thomas Lynch Sr. and Thomas Lynch Jr. were the only father-son team to serve concurrently in the Continental Congress. Thomas Lynch Jr. and his wife were en route to France when their ship was lost at sea. Thomas Hayward Jr. was a planter and a lawyer and was one of the three signers from South Carolina captured and imprisoned by the British. He also signed the Articles of Confederation while a member of the Continental Congress. He returned to South Carolina and became a judge and a member of the state legislature. The British destroyed Hayward's home at Whitehall during the war and he was held prisoner, like the others, until 1781. After the war, he served two terms in the state legislature from 1782 to 1784. He also became the first president of the Agricultural Society of South Carolina. We must never forget the courage and sacrifice made by these brave men of the Palmetto State. Men who literally put their names on the line to forge a new nation conceived in liberty. Happy Fourth of July. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle.